At Cabot, we care. We strive to build a workplace that makes your health and well being a priority. We want you to feel comfortable and confident that you have the support you need here at Cabot to achieve your well being goals. So, how will we help you build a well being mindset in 2023 and beyond? Let's take a look. To start, we're committed to offering programs, tools, and resources that support our employees' well being across four key pillars mind, body, financial, and social. No matter your goals, our top priority is to help you feel empowered to achieve well-being in each pillar. As we evolve our well-being programs, we will focus on these four guiding principles to make sure we're meeting your needs every step of the way. First, our leaders and people managers are prepared to be responsive to our employees' evolving health and well-being needs. Second, we are committed to providing meaningful well-being programs and resources to meet those changing needs. Third, as a global organization, we recognize employees in different parts of the world need different things to stay well. We've built our strategy to allow for local and regional differences to resonate with all employees, no matter their culture or where they live. Finally, our well-being programming must build an environment where every employee feels safe, respected, and heard. You never have to travel your well-being journey alone. We're here to help with whatever is most important to you. Our Global Employee Assistance Program, or EAP, is available to all employees and their household family members. It's administered by TELUS Health, formerly LifeWorks, and can help you through a variety of mind, body, social, and financial issues like those shown here. At Cabot, well-being is a priority, but don't just take our word for it. Here's how our leaders are thinking about their own well-being. For me, well-being is about creating space, creating space to enable a healthy work-life balance. This means consciously switching off from work, putting down my phone, putting down my iPad, and making sure that I enjoy time with my family. What I find is if I can do this effectively when I come back to work, I'm much more switched on. In terms of the way that I manage people and work with people, I also try and thread that through that same principle through. Not sending emails at weekends, not, not um, contacting people outside of work hours, not making everything ultra urgent. All of this gives people time to switch off and to enjoy their private life as well as their work life. That work-life balance, I think for me, and I think others, is critical to well-being. I think of well-being as having a healthy quality of life. When I think about well-being at work, I focus on trust and respect. Trust is a key foundation to respect. To create trust within a work environment, it is essential to set and communicate personal and team boundaries. When we honor these boundaries, we are showing respect. These boundaries are directly related to how we conduct meetings, how and when we send and reply to emails, and how we respect each other's time away from work. In Cabot, mental well-being and work-life balance is very important because it will create happiness in your work and personal life. I would like to underline the word of happiness. And what does well-being at Cabot mean to me personally? For me, it means that I'm able to find the right balance between the work and personal life to create harmony and happiness uh, as it will affect how we think, we feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make great choices. To learn more about the robust benefits Cabot offers, visit the URL shown here. We're proud to be a global company that makes well-being a priority for our employees and provides the resources they need to achieve work-life balance.